This is In Demand. I'm Alex James, and tonight marks the return of Lambert. Adam Lambert is here. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh, it's good to have you back. It's been too Thank long. Thank you so much. It's good to be back. How's your time in the UK so far? It's good. It's good. It's a little cold, but... Uh, it is very cold. I always love coming back here. I love London, and um, I love the culture here, and I want to spend some more time here someday. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I do love it. Is it a flying visit this time, or are you getting to hang around a bit? I don't get to hang around much, no. It's in and out, do the work, talk to the people, and on to the next. Sell your wares. So much. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> pedal this album. <laughs> Move on. But I'm so happy to pedal my album because I actually really think it's badass. I well, think it's great. Genuinely excited to hear it. I've not heard it yet. Obviously, we've heard the single better than I know myself, but still waiting mm-hmm. on the rest of it. But you've worked yeah. with some incredible people on yes, this Yes, I'm very lucky, yeah. Go ahead and name drop, Adam. All right, I'll name drop. Uh, uh, I worked with Dr. Luke and Claude Kelly for this first single. Um I got to work with Bonnie McKee, who's worked a lot with uh, Katy Perry and Britney and Tayo Cruz. Um, I got to work with Bruno Mars. What? Um, he, he wrote a song on the album. Uh, I worked with, uh, who else? Oh, I worked with Sam Sparrow. Very cool. Uh, and I, uh, we have a little guest feature. Niall Rogers plays guitar on a song, which okay. is really cool, really funky. Uh, yeah. And it's been a few years since the last album. Do you feel like this is a continuation of work from the first one, or is it very much different? To me, it feels very different. I think the the, the first album was kind of me learning, um, and, I, and I think it's really good. I'm proud of it. Um, but we did it in two months, just under two months. While is that I was what on it a was? Tour. Yeah, it was, it was really fast. Uh, and I was on a tour, and uh, it was a lot of guessing. It was like, well, I think this kind of works. Here we go. Is this the artist I want to be, or is this who my fan is? Yeah. Um, and I learned a lot in in promoting the album and releasing singles and going on a six month world tour. Um, I learned who my fans were. I learned about the artists that I had grown into. Yeah. Uh, what kind of music was the was the most you know kind of the best fit for me. Uh, and I think this album kind of is a reflection of that that growth. Are you now the kind of artist who is going to make music that you would enjoy listening to yourself? Completely. Yeah. That is right on the money. That Amazing. is very, very much part of it. And I think, I think the the album is um, it's very honest. It's very real. It's uh, it's pretty autobiographical. Um, and and what we did was I, I I split the album in half. I I have one half is all light, and the the, the other half is all the dark side. And I think <laughs> everybody, no matter who you are, has that kind of struggle between the two. We all kind of have the yin and the yang, you know. Yeah. Um, and we always are trying to find the balance, and I think that's the key is is balancing the two out. And you kind of have to have one to have the other, and you need you know they need to kind of coexist. It's kind of like the Darth Vader Obi Wan Kenobi thing. Sure, totally, yeah. And is that your personality as well then? Is I think so. I mean, I think it's up? every. Yeah, I think it's everybody's to some degree. I think we all kind of have that that duality. Um, and the light side of the album, it's not. You know, don't don't get me wrong. It's not all that serious. The light side of the album is <laughs> so much fun. It is, it is like electronic disco funk uh, pop realness. Amazing. It is so much fun. It's really playful um, and it has a lot of attitude and swagger. Um, I worked with people like Pharrell Williams yeah. for some of these upbeat tracks, and he is a genius. Sure um, is. Really funky, really like groovy. Um, sorry, I'm cursing That's my fine. Radio station. Curse away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, um, I've got a ton of questions from uh, Glambert fans here in the UK uh, who've been tweeting me like crazy over the last right 48 on. hours. Yeah, let's, so let's you're ready talk. to take some of these. Uh, you yeah. need to give us a tweet, by the way, at InDemand UK is where you'll find us. Uh, so do that. And let's start with James. Which tattoo did you get first and what do they all mean to you? Well, I have this tattoo on my wrist of an Eye of Horus, which is an Egyptian hieroglyph and I kind of got it done kind of as like a symbol of pr- protection like an evil eye an all seeing eye Okay. but also I, I've always been obsessed with Egyptian uh, history and imagery I just there's something very alluring about it since I was a kid I was like fascinated with the pyramids and the hieroglyphs and um, so that was kind of that and then I got this infinity symbol um, that was right on when I was on tour Yeah. And, and then I got this key on my arm which was Inspired by a painting a friend did that's in my house. Okay. And then I got this uh, other tattoo. So they tattoo. all have stories. Yeah, of course. Uh, next up, Krista wants to know, did you try out a sauna when you were away over Christmas? I did. How was it for you? Hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, your trip away over Christmas was much chronicled. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> uh, did you get yourself into a bit of bother? Is that all sorts yeah, of I'm, Yeah. I mean, imagine if your every waking move was chronicles. I mean, <laughs> would you be proud of every moment? God, no. <laughs> I mean, exactly. That is the point. <laughs> It was a bit of a storm in a teacup in the end, wasn't it? Because I watched your interview with Ellen where you explained yeah, it. Yeah, you know, things happen. Um, <laughs> the, the important thing is that walking away from the situation is that I've accepted responsibility, I think. Yeah. I've learned a lot from the, the, the situation and the experience, and I think it's made my relationship stronger. Good. Um, and, you know, I'm moving forward, and that's all you can really do. That was your Darth Vader coming out as well, wasn't <laughs> I it? I guess that so. Point? Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> uh, the UK Glamberts want to know, how did the concept for the video for Better Than I Know Myself come about? Um, it was, uh, a lot of the ideas in there were mine. Um, there was also a lot of input from Diane Martell who created the, what do you want from me video? She consulted on this and the lovely director, Ray Kay, uh, had a lot to contribute as well. Yeah. Um, I think I, I in- encouraged and insisted that the video not be the obvious interpretation of the song. Um, mm-hmm. I always like to kind of give things a twist. And so we came up with something that was very much like a new idea. And it just so happened that when the first idea kind of started developing, that it it mirrored the concept of my album, the whole light and dark duality thing. So I thought it was really perfect. Amazing. Naxi wants to know, what a name, Naxi. She sounds Naxie. like a rock star. Uh, do you enjoy traveling the world or do you miss your friends and family? You know, I've had a year uh, at home. Uh, this last year. So you've had enough of your friends. Well, I mean, I was working on my album and I I had a great time just being at home. But yeah, like I'm excited to kind of have this adventure of like promoting and singing and, you know, getting my music out there. So I'm ready. Okay, Christy, which song on the new album is the best to make love to? (laughs) Um, Probably Broken English. Okay. Yeah, that's a sexy jam. All right, I'm going to make a note of that one. We'll get that on the weekend playlist. Um, Unless you're like a bunny rabbit when you have sex, and then there's a couple probably faster ones. <laughs> <laughs> but if you really like, if you really like to make love, <laughs> I think we're talking sort of proper boudoir time and candles. Yeah, and a more yeah, intense right, yeah. experience. Yeah. Uh, Gemma would like to know. Speaking of broken English, this leads quite nicely on. How is your British accent these days? Oh, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. I try. Everyone always goes. It's all right. That's. <laughs> Is that what they say? Yeah, oh, it's good. Uh, is I it? I love it. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll do the rest of the whole interview like this. Do you reckon you could? Actually, we're going to no, play... No, that was bad. I just got to... No, 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 gotta... no, no, no. You were keeping it. It was almost Dick Van Dyke in Mary Poppins for a well, sec. Well, sometimes but... I need to warm up. Okay, this is good. Keep Give going. Give me a break. And introduce your brand new single in that style, Adam. Hello, this is Adam Lambert, and this is Better Than I Know Myself. Yes. I love it. Right here on In Demand England. <laughs> oh, no, this is Alex. No. No, this is In Demand England. No, this right. is In Demand England. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Love you, man. This is, is it, Does ma- it sound real? <laughs> is it convincing? It is. But it only is. when I talk like that at the end. It when I sound like David Cameron. This is in demand. Adam Lambert still with us. Adam, we're going to bid you farewell very soon. All right. But he's still in British mode. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> now you got me into it. <laughs> uh, quick fire. How showbiz are you, Adam? After a good few years in the industry, it's time to find out how it's affected you. Uh, so let's uh, plough through these. The most famous person you've got stored in your mobile phone. Uh, I had Rihanna's number once. Wow. <laughs> but I think she changed it. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine she changes it a lot, probably. Yeah. Uh, what car are you driving at the moment? Uh, I just got a new car, actually. Well, it's not new, it's used, but I got a BMW. Okay, that's pretty swanky. So it's, yeah, it's pretty, you know, I was driving a Ford Mustang and I was just ready for an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> it's the natural evolution to be. I guess you know. Hey, so they made fun of me on TV for driving a Mustang on TMZ. <laughs> okay, and I said, "Well, I don't care. I love my Mustang." And then when I had some engine problems, I went, mm, "American made." Okay, time to go German. It's one of those times when TMZ is correct. Yeah, um, they had a point. They yeah. had a point. How many bathrooms have you got in your house? Uh, two. Okay, that's pretty low key. That's good. Uh, the last time you said, "Don't you know who I am?" Maybe not in that accent. I but... really, I really. What, what was that accent? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't know if those words have ever come out of my mouth. Good. Keep it real, man. Yeah. Um, best freebie you've got lately? Freebie. Um, you know, I honestly don't get a lot of freebies. It's kind of it's kind of sad. Oh, that's rubbish. But, you know, it's kind of... I, I, there's something, you know, real and, and grounding about having to pay for your own stuff, you know? Yeah, that's true. And then you've earned it, and it means yeah, more. Yeah, it's like, you know, I worked for it. Amazing. Officially, not that showbiz, Adam. All things considered, which is good. And you know what? I kind of had um, 
almost like a, uh, a ballpark figure, I think, where we were going with that, because Kelly Clarkson did this test, and she wasn't showbiz at all. So you yeah, guys have gone I, through this process. Time. She's so down to earth. She's, she's really cool. And what a great singer. Uh, before you go, I need to ask you about how you feel about the return of Madonna. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what she's got in store for us. I'm, I've always been a Madonna fan. I think she's super bold and, and she works with great producers. And, and I'm glad that she's working with William Orbit again because the Ray of Light album is, is probably my favorite Madonna oh. era. That is my favorite as well, isn't it? Incredible. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited. Um, I love uh, "Substitute for Love." That is a genius track. Beautiful song. Yeah, uh, dude. It's been a pleasure having you back on In Demand tonight. Oh, thank you so much. Best of luck with the record and the album "Trespassing." All right, um, you too. What's the date on the album? March 18th, I think. Is it? I think so. Amazing. Adam Lambert, thank you very much. Solo round of applause as you've been. Thank you. Very well.